Hey guys, my name is Vasi Sharma and let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I started my journey in testing at Google. Uh, from there on, I went on to Yahoo uh, to lead their display advertisement platform. Um, then I got an amazing opportunity. Uh, for me, it was a career changing opportunity to work at LinkedIn pre-IPO. And it was humongous amount of experiences, the training processes and everything uh, that I learned at LinkedIn. Really valuable. And I was at LinkedIn for six years before I moved on to another company called 10X, um, where I was leading their um, test engineering and app support art. Um, and now, uh, just recently, I joined another company called SmugMug. Um, many of you may have heard about uh, they acquired Flickr recently. I'm joining there as director of engineering, so pretty excited about that. Uh, as you can see, that I've gone through so many changes in so many years uh, in terms of companies, and when it comes to companies, even one company itself follows different processes. I have seen so much process change just like you all, continuously evolving processes in terms of releases and the tools they use to release a software out. Today, we are going to discuss the current trend in industry where companies are actually moving really fast into agile world. And most of the companies are following the two-week release cycle. And how, as a test engineer, that's changing our lives. Because certainly in the waterfall model, we used to have so much time to ourselves, right? We used to have ample amount of time to test the product, file bugs, retest it, um, do regression testing, do automation. You know, there was no hard pressed pressure on you uh, to release a software with very high quality in two weeks time frame. It just seems unrealistic to me right now, the amount of pressure all the test engineers are in. If they focus on testing the software out, they lose the time to automate the features. It's just a cash 22 situation. If they don't automate the, uh, the test cases, then the regression suite becomes humongous and they, they, humanly it's not possible to be testing uh, stuff manually in so many browsers and so many different devices and things like that. 